channel today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on this look and I love the way this turns out this eye makeup is just mm. there is a little bit of a story behind this makeup look because I was supposed to put this video up for you guys on Sunday and I apologize because I didn't have a video up but my husband and I are kind of in the process of looking for new houses we had a really manic day on Sunday trying to sort everything out I did actually film this look but I only filmed the eye because I just wanted to do like a quick eye tutorial and when I downloaded the footage and looked over it I was like no 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 this eye makeup needs a full face i absolutely love the way this turns out i think it's perfect for spring i think it's perfect for any occasion i just would wear this normally just running errands as you do so for this look i use the urban decay electric palette this is one of my all-time favorite palettes i love the eyeshadow colors i love the pigmentation in them and they blend really really easily you can see this palette inside is quite well loved <laughs> and that's because i've used it a ton since i bought it i use it on loads of different looks also all my halloween looks as well i feel that i got the most use out of this palette so guys if you're not already subscribed to my channel please don't forget to click the link right here and it will notify you for all of my upcoming videos and also please don't forget to follow me on all of my social media i'll leave the link right here as well for you so if you want to see how i got this bright and colorful makeup look using the urban decay electric palette then just keep watching so to start off this look i'm going to be taking these two primers this one is the lorac eye primer and i'm going to be using the mac soft ochre paint pot as well just to counteract any discoloration and then moving on to a transitional shade i'm going to be taking this one by makeup geek in the color creme brulee and i'm just going to be buffing it out into the crease So now taking the first shade from the palette, this one is called Savage, which is a really, really vibrant pink. And I'm gonna be buffing it out into the crease as well. So you just wanna make sure that you concentrate the most amount of that product onto the outer half of the crease, and then drag the less amount of product onto the inner half. And that way you're gonna create more of a cat eye smoky look. And also it's just gonna have more of the vibrant pink on the outer half of the eye, which is what you want for this look because you want all the colors to fade in nicely together. So don't worry if it creates a little bit of a mess because we will go in and clean it up in a while. So now picking up the second shade from the palette, this one is the color Urban, which is a really gorgeous purple. And I'm just gonna be using more of a denser blender brush for this, and I'm just gonna be packing that onto the crease as well. But again, I'm concentrating the most amount of that product really tightly into the crease, because you don't wanna cover up any of that pink shade. So once that colour is applied, I then went in with a little bit more pink and just blended out the edges, just to make sure we've got a really nice transition of colour there. So now before I start applying any further eyeshadows, I'm just going to be taking a little tiny brush and also a little bit of that soft ochre paint pot by MAC, and I'm just going to be cleaning up the crease, and I'm going to kind of cut the crease on the inner part of the eye and blend it through to the outer part. And you don't really want to do this for the outer part because, again, you want that nice gradient of colour on the outer part of the eye, but just cleaning up the inner part is just going to make sure that when we go in with the green in a bit, it's just going to really make it nice and vibrant and opaque. So now going in with the colour Freak, which is a really nice shimmery minty green. And I'm just going to be spritzing a little bit of Fix Plus onto my brush. And I'm going to be packing it onto the inner corner of the eye and blending it through to the middle. So I did go in a few times just to really build up the intensity because, again, I wanted this to be really nice and opaque. <laughs> So now going back into the palette and taking the colour Gonzo and using the same brush again just on the other side I'm going to be packing that onto the outer part of the crease and I'm going to be merging all three of those colours together so it goes from green to blue to purple and then pink. So when you get to the centre part of the eye the best thing to do is just split the brush over again which still has a little bit more of that freak shade on it and then you can just merge the two colours together just to make sure you've got a really nice transition of colour. Now to help with the blending process, I'm going to be taking the colour Chaos from the palette and I'm just going to be focusing that on the outer half of the eye as well. I'm not going to be putting that into the crease, I'm just going to be making sure it's blended through to the lighter blue and also into the purple. So again, I did go back in with a little bit of purple and a little bit of pink and just touched up the sides just to make sure we've got a really nice transition of colour and that you can see every single colour on the eye. 
So now once the eyeshadows are all blended out, I'm going to be removing the tape and also taking a makeup remover wipe and just cleaning up any of the excess fallout underneath the eyes. Now to create a wing, I'm going to be taking my Inglot number 77 gel eyeliner and with a tiny eyeliner brush I'm just going to be drawing out the wings on the eyes. And then I'm just going to be adding a coat of mascara and also going in with some false eyelashes and the ones that I'm using today are by Eyelure. I actually forget the style of them but I'll remember to link it down below if you're interested. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be taking my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm Insensitive and I'm going to be using this as a primer. So I'm just going to be smoothing that all over the face and then I'm just going to be doing a little bit of colour correcting underneath the eyes and to do this I'm using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in the colour Light Peach. So now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match and I'm just going to be buffing it out with my Beauty Blender. So now moving on to concealers, I'm going to be taking the MAC Pro Long Wear as well as the MAC Prep and Prime in the colour Light Boost. And with the Pro Long Wear, I'm just going to be putting that as a triangle underneath the eyes. And I'm just going to be highlighting the face with the Prep and Prime. And then again, just blending it all out with my Beauty Blender. So now taking this Chanel Tan de Soleil, I'm going to be adding a little bit of contour and definition to the face. So again, that's just on my cheekbones and also my forehead, a little bit on my nose and my jawline too. And then I'm just going to be blending that in with my Beauty Blender. And as you can see there, it's just creating a really sort of nice soft definition to the face and not too heavy a contour because I didn't want a too much of a chiseled look today. And then I'm just going to be going in with a little bit of the powder from the Define and Conquer palette, which is by 17. And I'm just going to be taking up the lightest shade and I'm going to be putting that underneath the eyes and also setting the foundation on the lighter part of my face so it's just down my nose also my chin and a little bit on the front of my forehead too just to bring a little bit of light back into the face and now I'm just going to be moving on to my eyebrows and then I'm going to be picking up the darker shade from the palette and just defining that contour a little bit further I'm really making sure that's well blended and soft on the face So now picking up the colour Unlawful by NARS, I'm just going to be using that as a blusher today. And then I'm going to be moving on to the lower part of the eyes. So the first shade I'm going to be using is the colour Thrash, which is that really nice minty green shade. And I'm going to be putting that on the lower lash line and keeping that quite close to the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to be mimicking exactly the same eye colour combination that is on the lid. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the blue and also a little bit of the purple and putting that onto the middle and the outer part of the eye. And once that's all blended through, Again, I'm going to be picking up a blending brush with the colour Savage, which is that really hot pink shade, and I'm going to be blending that all the way through the lower lash line and combining all three of those colours together. So now for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to be picking up Thrash from the palette, which is a really neon green, and I'm going to be putting that on the upper and the lower inner corner of the lash line as well. And then after that, I'm going to be adding some black for some more definition. So this one is by Makeup Geek in the colour Corrupt, and I'm just going to be pushing that up against the lower lash line with a flat definer brush, and also go in with a little bit of coal eyeliner, and this one is by Too Faced. And I feel like with a colourful look, you always need to add some black just to make it a little bit more wearable and a little bit more dramatic. So now just to finish the look I'm going to be adding a coat of mascara to the lower lashes as well. So now to add some highlight because no look is complete without highlighter <laughs> I'm just going to be using this one by MAC in the colour Soft and Gentle and again I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones, my nose and also my cupid's bow and here I'm just testing out some coloured nudes because I didn't know what shade to go for so I'm just going to be lining my lips with a colour Strip Down by MAC and then I'm going to be using a mixture of these two shades. The first lipstick is the Stila Liquid Lipstick in the colour Bellissima and then I'm just going to be topping it off with Too Faced Melted Nude Lipstick. So there you go guys, that completes the look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create this really colourful look using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!